So while they were telling us that the Wuhan lab leak oh, this is was the conspiracy theory. That's a good transition. They yeah. were actually, I was workshopping yeah. that yeah. in my head while you were talking. <laughs> this is the conspiracy theory the media was feeding us yeah. about how all of these diplomats around the wor- world, first in Cuba, had been targeted by Russian microwave rays and they heard this strange sound and then they came down with these bizarre symptoms and there were cases of it popping up all over the world. And the media is reporting this seemingly insane story, straight-faced, they've got senior government officials who are giving them the details on all of this. And I've long been pretty skeptical of the whole Russian microwave ray theory that Mm -hmm. was being pushed in the media because obviously, you know, they have their agenda and they have their own CIA handlers that they like to uncritically (laughs) do stenography for. So there had been uh, an indicator before, and by the way, Glenn Greenwald covered this amazingly. You should check out his video on it because he breaks it all down incredibly. But there had been some indications before that the sound that they heard that they said was associated with these microwave rays that what it actually was was crickets, okay? So there's a new uh, new evidence to back up the idea that this was not, in fact, Russian rays. It was crickets. Let's throw this New York Post tear sheet up there on the screen. Havana syndrome culprits may be crickets, scientists say. This is all th- thanks to a FOIA request from BuzzFeed News. Um, there's a group, an advisory group called Jason that they describe, BuzzFeed describes as an elite scientific board that has reviewed U.S. national security concerns since the Cold War. They looked into um, this report of the microwave rays and they analyzed the sound and they did the whole thing. And basically, they also confirmed that it sounds like crickets. They even identified the very specific type of cricket that uh, was emitting this noise as they're doing their mating signals. Anyone who lives in a rural area has certainly heard a similar form of sort of buzzing type of noise. And the interesting thing here, too, is that the State Depor- Department has had this report for a couple of years. Yes. And yet they continue to feed the media this idea that it was probably Russian microwave rays. Um, and even... Just recently, uh, on Tuesday, U.S. House of Representatives voted 427 to 0 to pass a Havana Act bill compensating CIA and State Department personnel affected by these incidents. News reports have widely blamed Russian spies randomly targeting CIA and State Department personnel with microwave weapons and attributed this view to senior U.S. officials. Again, while they had this report and knew that the sound was crickets, And that Jason also said that while they can't rule out some other uh, cause going on in terms of the physical effects, which, you know, were real and people were feeling real symptoms and real problems from all of this, but they point to uh, psychogenic effects. Mass psychology, in the report they say, can also trigger neurological injuries in people. Jason believes such psychogenic effects may serve to explain important components of the reported injuries. So this whole wild conspiracy theory about Russian spies targeting diplomats with microwave rays and here's the sound that accompanied it, totally bunk, and they've (laughs) known it for years, and yet they continue to feed their media allies that this was Russian spies. Take a listen to one MSNBC report on exactly this thing. The mystery, who or what caused American officials living in these Havana homes and several hotels to suffer headaches, dizziness, and some serious brain injuries similar to a concussion. Last year, Cuban investigators told us they would never allow their territory to be used that way. But now Russia is the leading suspect, NBC News has learned, according to three U.S. officials and two others briefed on the investigation. Evidence, they say, backed up by highly secret communications intercepts collected during a lengthy and ongoing investigation involving the FBI, CIA, and other agencies. U.S. officials also tell NBC News investigators now believe the Americans were deliberately targeted. 
And that was never updated that, you know, I mean, in fairness, that report was from early on, you right. know, when there was something going on, we didn't know, but they never updated to be like, hey, by the way, we figured it out and it was cricket. So pretty much <laughs> all of this just shows that the people inside the government are crazy because they literally believe they're being, have microwaves being shot at their heads secretly in Havana and With the in technology Russia. that we have right, no understanding of unknown, or awareness of. Right, with an unknown technology and that oh also it's russia for because reasons yes, of course um, it is. it's russia and now <laughs> congress is voting aid to the victims when in november of 2018 that same report said at least 8 of the 21 so you know a decent chunk are very likely crickets they also said it was quote highly unlikely that it was microwaves so what's happening here i think it really just comes down to some of these people are human beings. Uh, I bet serving as a diplomat in Havana or Russia is probably pretty stressful. Sure, it's very it's stressful. a very stressful job. Yeah. You know, you're constantly getting tailed by the FSB or whoever the Cuban secret police is. Same in China. I've talked with some of the people who've served abroad. They really do surveil everything you do. Um, your house is known to be bugged. Your car is definitely bugged. People follow you even with your family when you're at the mall or whatever. Like it, It's a stressful situation, so I don't want to downplay that. But then, you know, one guy starts getting headaches and you're like, oh my God, you know, this is just like Russia in 1962. And then next thing you know, Havana syndrome is a thing. And the media part is the most galling of this because it goes to show that they'll just print anything that they believe, anything the intel community tells them is true. It goes to show that they didn't press for anything. This is where I always get it. We also, we see leaked documents all the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. Leaked assessments, State Department. Remember Afghanistan? Everything the p people ever printed was leaked. Uh, if the media wants to go out and get to the bottom of it, they usually can. It's usually pretty hard in order to hide, you know, especially this. This is a, a internal, you know, eventually they released it by FOIA. So it shows it wasn't even that yeah, classified. Yeah, I mean, BuzzFeed was able to FOIA it. So if they were able to FOIA it and get it in three years, that means somebody would have leaked it to you two years ago, obviously. Uh, they just didn't care. They were like, oh, well, the Intel guys who aren't willing to put their names on this are telling us it's Havana Syndrome. And so then they created this whole thing. I mean, they had the spooks on TV talking about how it was a classic hallmark of Russian attacks. They had people writing, you know, long profiles of the victims. They had people coming out. The State Department was freaking out. I mean, at one point they were saying the Trump administration had to like confront Russia over the Havana syndrome stuff. Yeah, of course. And it's all just like a fake. It's a it's totally nuts. And that's, I think, the part that galls me the most is that they knew it at the time. They had a report from people saying that it was not microwaves, and they still pushed it because it served an agenda. That's actually the worst and most nefarious part of all of this. Yeah, this report is from several years ago. So they've had this November 2018. And how many more times have we heard, oh, there's another incidence of Havana syndrome. Oh, we've got another one over here, another incidence of Havana syndrome. Because, yeah, it was convenient. It was, you know, suited the de deep state agenda. The media reports it uncritically, whether they believe it or not. They have no interest in being like, this whole Russian microwave story sounds a little bit strange. <laughs> yeah. What uh, what you got to back that up? Any yeah. other dissenting views that maybe you could offer me of another explanation here? <laughs> it really is, I mean... I don't want to laugh because I'm sure the people, like you said, who actually suffered from it, like, I don't want to diminish they probably had very real symptoms that they experienced as, you know, incredibly painful and incredibly significant. Um, but it's the media's job to ask questions. It's the media's job to be skeptical. Yep. And when it comes to something that doesn't suit their agenda, something like the Wuhan lab leak, um, they're extremely skeptical, right? They're skeptical to the point of saying, you can't even talk about that because that's, that's exactly a conspiracy right. theory. This is a wild conspiracy theory, and they bought it and propagated it hook, line, and sinker, even though the State Department, deep state, knew better for years now. Yeah. So there you go. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. That's right. Just as a reminder, you can become a premium subscriber today. Watch the full show completely uncut. Our reactions to each other's monologues. You get to listen to it. You get to ask us questions. All that good stuff. Link is right there in the description or at breakingpoints.com. Best of all, great way to say screw you to the mainstream media.